the last thing that's important about the idea is understanding what camp you're going to put your business into. Is this idea a business that's going to be a lifestyle business or is it going to be a liquidity-based business? So let me talk about the difference between the two. If you're creating a lifestyle business, then your goal in that business really is to set up a business that for your own lifestyle creates you a good living and for all the people that you want to employ in that venture as well too. So you might think of like a retail bakery or an individual consultant or a lawyer or somebody that maybe even sells products online as a lifestyle business. They'll typically put in their own capital or some capital they can get from friends and family or maybe potentially a bank loan. And they're going to try to build up that business where within the first year, two years, it's profitable. And then they're going to live off the profits in the business going forward. So we might decide that our goal with the business is that we want to be able to get to a million dollars in revenue and have it make $400,000 in profit and you're going to be the sole owner in that business, and that $400,000 in profit is going to be what you live on, which is a great, amazing lifestyle, especially getting to do something that you love and that is of your own choosing, that's your destiny. In another case, we may say, well, I'm going to create a business that needs to have a liquidity event for me to really make money and be successful. So most notably, if you raise angel investment or venture capital, what happens is those business owners aren't taking a draw out of their profits. So as the co-founder and CEO of DocStock, at the end of the year, I don't look at the profits in the business and then personally take them out for myself. There's, there's been venture capital investment. There's been angel investment. And what we're all working towards is growing this business as quickly as possible to have a liquidity event. And that liquidity event will be either be that somebody buys Doc stock or that we take the company public. And when that happens, the shareholders, the co-founders, the investors, the employees will all have that event where they make a bunch of money. But what's important in your ideation process is realize which path you're going to go down. Because a lot of times people think that they have an idea for a business that they can raise a lot of money for that they may not be able to. Because as an investor, an angel investor or a venture capitalist, if you're not in a very high growth business where there's a chance for a liquidity event that can get you 5, 6, 10, 20, 30 times the money that you put in, that's not a business they're going to invest in. But there are other investors. There are investors that invest in restaurants that say, hey, get me my money back in the next two years and then pay me a dividend. And that restaurant is a lot like a real estate investment. And that typically is a great lifestyle business that people can create for themselves. And so what's important to realize in our ideation process is, are we creating a lifestyle business where we're going to live off of the profits of those business, or a liquidity-based business where we're going to raise a lot of money and we're going to have to have a liquidity event, namely selling the business or taking it public to get ourselves and the investors their money back.